In this video, I'm going to show you a fun riff on the Pusser's Painkiller, which is the amped up, better, more fun version of the Pina Colada. Now, just recently, the uh, the Pusser's Painkiller video that I filmed back in October has started to pick up pace. There will be a link in the description below so you can go and watch that if you haven't done so already. But the comments and in my DMs that I've been getting is, Steve, have you got any fun like kind of riffs on a painkiller? We want to have painkiller nights. So I thought I'd go back to doing what I do best. And that's kind of having fun flips and riffs with fun and traditional cocktails. And today we're going to take on the painkiller and riff it up and turn it into a passion and pain. And if this video gets enough likes on it over the next coming weeks and months, uh, then I'm going to be kind of adding to this series as well with more painkiller riffs for you. So if you haven't done, make sure you click the like button, like this video, and then I'll kind of rock, uh, rock out some more for you. Now, when we are making the painkiller, the painkiller is obviously a trademarked cocktail. You have to use Pusser's uh, rum. And that is a good thing. People kind of take it as a bad thing. No, they're talking rubbish. It's a good thing because Pusser's rum is absolutely exceptional. Now, you could go for any of the Pusser's rum there. The gunpowder proof. I love the normal gunpowder proof as well. You could go the normal 40%. Now, you could, if you're daring, go for the sort of 151, the overproof. I won't waste a 15 year old. I wouldn't do that. That's a bit stupid. That is sick, that neat. But what I love is the spiced rum. The Pusses um, Navy, the gunpowder proof uh, spiced rum is exceptional. It's a 54.5% spiced rum with hints of banana, chocolate, vanilla, cinnamon, and ginger. It is such a fantastic spiced rum in a navy style, which I absolutely love. They're one of my favorite styles of rums. But don't just take my word from it. Look at the feedback in the comments I've been getting from the Pusses, the, the porn star, the spiced rum porn star video I dropped a few weeks ago because that was using that and that is getting a lot of love as well. So here we go. Here is the passion and pain riff on the Pusses painkiller cocktail. Obviously, we are using uh, Pusses uh, gunpowder proof spiced rum of course you know it's one of my favorite spiced rums it is absolutely insanely good other ingredients we've got we've got um some i've got funkin I'm, I'm on funkin at the moment passion fruit puree so it's unsweetened if you are going to use like an odk or real or something like that monin and just bearing in mind they will be sweetened this is unsweetened so just play about with the ratio slightly for you for your own palate uh, we've got some odk coconut uh, puree there again if you are using coconut milk or coconut uh, cream or anything like that this is sweetened that isn't so these res recipe will be perfectly balanced for me but just play about so we've got pusses uh, gunpowder proof funkin passion fruit puree odk coconut pressed pineapple juice 100 percent pressed pineapple juice we've got some sea salt cornish cornish sea salt in there or cornish rock salt i should say and uh, i've got some nutmeg for the garnish now this one boys and girls, is um, a flash blended cocktail. So I've got my little blender off there to the side. So we are going to go with that. Uh, we are going, let's give you a close up on that. The I won't say the best spiced rum, but it's definitely in my top three spiced rums. Absolutely adore this stuff. 45 mil, one and a half ounces because it is overproof. It is 54 and a half percent. You can up it if you want. If you really want to up it. Uh, so we're going for that. Uh, Why this going in this order? I'm then going to go 30 ml, one ounce of Funkin' uh, Passion Fruit Puree. As I say, this is unsweetened. Um, so, you know, if you're using other ingredients, just play about slightly with your ratios there. Uh, we're then going for ODK Coconut Puree. I love this stuff. stuff. Long life, it's shelf stable. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, 30 ml, one ounce of that. In there, so you've got coconut puree there. Good stuff, easy to get. It's great just to have in your bars, just to have around when you want your pina colada or obviously the painkiller. Uh, you're going for that. Now, uh, pressed pineapple juice. It's important this bit, 100% pressed pineapple juice. Don't go for that fake stuff from Concentrate. You want proper press. So 45 ml, one and a half ounces of proper pressed pineapple juice. And then, uh, if I've not got two sticky fingers, obviously the nutmeg is going for the garnish afterwards. I just want a little bit of pinch of Cornish. It has to be Cornish. Don't, don't come at me with anything like Molden from Essex. No, 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 no. Cornwall. Go oh, Cornwall. Uh, some... <laughs> So uh, just a little pinch of sea salt there. The sea salt is just going to elevate those flavours even more. It's going to be absolutely glorious. Right. 
So, flash blend, I, I appreciate a lot of you won't have like proper stick blender at home. That's fine, shake the cocktail up if you want, shake it with crushed ice. Uh, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna li literally flash blend this for my, my flash blender, my little stick blender is not brilliant. So I'm gonna flash it for, uh, for about 10 seconds. If you've got a proper one, about five seconds, that's all you're gonna do. So I'll cut back. Right, and there we go, literally about, that took about 10 seconds or so. It's nice and frothy. Now I'm gonna serve this up in, uh, as I showed you, my kind of tiki glass. I've already got a little bit of crushed ice in the pot now because that will be a bit bigger. Uh, you could, if you've got one, you can't got a proper Puss's painkiller mug there. But you know, it's a passion and pain, so we want it to be a bit tiki fine, don't we? So whatever kind of, whatever you've got there. Uh, just look, pour it for a great height, see how sort of, Frothy that is, lovely. Oh, has he done it? Oh, I've done it. I've nearly, a oh, little bit more crushed ice. That was nearly bang on the money, that was. There we go. Uh, and it's garnish. Oh, before we get into garnish, we've got the important bit, haven't we? We've got the, um, the all important, all expenses, kind of no, you know, no, no, no expense spared. That's the word I'm looking for. Nutmeg, Tesco zone nutmeg, sprinkle of nutmeg on top because painkillers have to have the nutmeg and they set it off really well. That's why the painkiller is like so much better than the pina colada. It's all those flavors. Uh, and then garnish wise, uh, passion fruit. I'll make this look pretty for the thumbnail as well, but we have got sprig of mint there as well. So uh, that is your passion and pain. If you want even more pusses inspiration, dive into that video right there.